Welcome to the first section of Arabic calligraphy course. Here I'll introduce you to the tools that are used to do Arabic calligraphy. I use a Yupo paper or smooth calligraphy paper to write on and it is easily available from any bookshop. You can use a smooth glossy paper which are used for printers also. These are the reed pens or columns which we'll use for the writing. They have different sizes of nibs which we'll use for thick and thin writing. And here comes the inks, the water-based inks of different colors. And this is the Sennelier water-based ink. We'll use both these inks and it's up to you which ink do you like better and you want to use in your writing. These water-based inks are local made and they are inexpensive. This spray bottle will be used when we come to the color section of this course. These white and flat tipped wooden pens are also used in calligraphy projects, especially when we come to the embellishing and decorative part of the calligraphy. Next we have the steel nipped pens by Krita Color. This is a flat nipped steel pen and uh, you have the option to change the nibs it comes with five nibs it's easy how we can change the nibs and have various strokes of uh, thick and thin lines by using this pen and this nib is specially made to make uh, small dots nuktas for calligraphy Here I'll show you some of the works that I've created using uh, these water-based inks and columns. With the skill set taught in this course, you'll be able to make your own postcards or bookmarks or even design your own journals. Uh, there are various many fields where you can apply this art of writing and color and you will be in independently able to make your own projects of art and you can teach also this art to other people. So let's get started in the next section with the art of lettering first.